Hi, I'm Kristen from Arrow.com, here again with Pete Jenner, Field Application Manager from Weller. As a follow-up to our earlier video on soldering tip preparation, Pete is going to give us advice on the best methods for cleaning and maintaining your soldering tips to ensure a longer life of the product. So Pete, let's get started. Absolutely. So as I said in the previous video, the biggest enemy to soldering is oxidation of your soldering tip. When you have your station, you have a, the right soldering tip picked out for your application. If that tip oxidizes, oxidation does not transfer heat. Uh, the worst thing that you can do is when that happens, most people want to just go ahead to the soldering station and start turning up the temperature. And I can guarantee you that makes your problem a lot worse. So when you get a, a, a tip that gets oxidized, you need to turn the station off and then you need to grab a polishing bar like this. It's a simple little product. It's a, kind of a little pumice type bar. And you actually do, do this when the soldering tip is cold. And before I start working on the soldering tip, I would like to show you some oxidized tips right here. I'm gonna put this one out right here. There is a tip, you can see how it is oxidized at the very end of that soldering tip. That particular soldering tip, the solder will ball up at the very end where the heat transfer takes place and completely fall off the soldering tip. And then, as I said, when that happens, uh, or if it, it, it's as severe in that case, or when it's a mild case of that, turn the soldering station off and then take your polishing bar with the tip still in the pencil and then just start rubbing that tip on that polishing bar. That will rub off the oxidation and it won't remove the, uh, the plating that's on the soldering tip. Remember, the soldering tip has a copper core and the iron plating is out on the end of the working end of the soldering tip. If, and, the, and your job to maintain and do effective heat transfer and maintain the soldering life uh, or the soldering tip life is to keep that iron plating on there as long as you possibly can. So when it gets oxidized, use that polishing bar. In severe cases, you can use a tip tinner. This is an acid. I just have that taped up on this little uh, 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 dry tip cleaning system that I've got here. You do this while it's hot. And while the uh, soldering tip is hot, you simply dip it in there, move it around, and that acid will eat off that uh, oxidation off that soldering tip. I always caution you, it's a perfectly acceptable way to do it, but use that material uh, cautiously. If you use it a lot, remember it's an acid. Acid will eat the plating off soldering tips at a faster rate. So your best method is you could take your brush, you could clean it up like this, take your polishing bar, polish the soldering tip up, put it back in the holder, turn the soldering station back on, and then when it comes up to temperature, run that and we'll tin that soldering tip anew. Soon as I get up to temperature here. You run that solder on that soldering tip, and now you go back to work. Remember, oxidation does not transfer temperature. When a tip is oxidized, it will not transfer heat properly and, and, and the soldering process becomes uh, encumbered because of that. So these are techniques that you use to maintain that soldering tip. Again, I mentioned deionized water. What happens with, with soldering tip life is generally not just one thing. It's, it's, a, it's a combination of the temperature that you're using. It could be uh, uh, tap water that people are using with contaminants in it. It could be somebody using the wrong sponge or somebody using the right sponge and not cleaning out the sponge as they use it. The fluxes get all caked up in here. And then as you wipe the soldering tip on, on, a, on a dirty sponge, that material gets onto the soldering tip and then you've got a high temperature, uh, an aggressive uh, flux, and all those things in combination with one another oxidize the soldering tip. One of the other things that we can do is if you look, my soldering station now has gone into a setback mode. The temperature is dropping down. These soldering stations these days, you can go inside and program to tell it to go to sleep when it's not in use. So, 
Temperature is the, the biggest factor in rapid oxidation. The hotter the temperature, the faster this tip will oxidize. And that is, again, your enemy in soldering. So when you're not using your tool, you can tell the station to power it down so it'll just sit there cool and that will prevent that rapid oxidation from happening. Uh, and then when you're ready to go again, you just hit the up or down button and the temperature comes right back on and you go back to work. So when you say oxidation, you're talking about just the, the darker color on here. So the goal for cleaning is really just getting it back to your, your nice silver. Is that right? Exactly right. Okay. You can take that polishing bar while it's in the soldering pencil, do it while it's cold, and then polish that oxid, get that oxidation off of there. You could, you could start with a brush, just a simple brush, brushing it off. If that doesn't come off, then go to your, go to your polishing bar, polish that tip up. When the iron is exposed once again, then you, you tin the soldering tip, and now you're ready to go back to soldering. You turn it back on and, and start soldering again. Okay, and it looked like you were pretty gentle with um, any of the tools. It didn't look like you were pushing very hard to get the oxidation off. That's very. That's a, a, a great observation. Uh, a gentle touch. Remember, the goal is to keep the iron plating intact for as long as you as long as you can. We look at some of the other ones I have out here. They actually have holes in them. That is when a soldering tip is completely used up. So remember that if if you know if that iron uh, plating is compromised that's when the copper is exposed and the copper starts disintegrating very rapidly and then the soldering tip will form a hole in it and that is is when your soldering tip is you is, is basically the life cycle of your soldering tip is over uh, and keep in mind whether you're using a, a chisel tip or whether you're using a round conical style tip it has two sides or in a conical tip it has 360 degrees so when you're soldering, make sure you shift the tip around. Don't always solder on one side only, because as soon as that iron gets co compromised, the other side becomes no good either because it all collapses in and on itself as the copper just dissolves. So to, main, you know, to, to get the maximum amount of your tip life, use all sides of the soldering tip, balance it out, and that will give you your maximum tip life. Then don't forget to tin it especially when you uh, uh, go off on a break or when you go home at the end of the evening, put a whole ball of solder on the end of that iron plating and then turn your station off and that, uh, that, that tinning will pre uh, prevent that tip from oxidizing. Now you mentioned uh, using the wrong sponge. Is that you know a kitchen sponge or what, what is the wrong sponge to use? Exactly, it's a very good question. We see uh, folks once in a while bring in a sponge from home. These are high temperature sponges and they're designed to work with, with, with you know, soldering tips that are very, very hot. Uh, the, the, the sponges at home will have contaminants inside of them. Uh, and that, when you wipe it on there, that will uh, actually uh, transfer onto the soldering tip. So again, like I was saying before, you have high temperature, you have maybe the wrong sponge, you have aggressive flux, and you're, you're soldering away and then all of a sudden your, your tip doesn't accept solder anymore. And generally what we find is a combination of these things. So if you do all these various things that I've showed you here, plus utilize your soldering station where it'll go into a setback mode when you're not using it, that will go a long, long way to prevent that oxidation from happening. And again, with the advent of lead-free solder, more and more people are using these dry tip cleaning systems. And as I said, when you clean this, uh, uh, the solder off the soldering tip in these systems, it leaves a little bit of tin coating on that soldering tip while you're working. It's not practical to tin a soldering tip while you're, in the busy, uh, while you're busy all day long soldering so that when you, you, you know, push it into the dry tip cleaning system and into the holder and then you're doing something else, you've got a little tin coating uh, protecting that soldering iron tip. That will help it last longer. As we go down uh, uh, the end of the table here, uh, this is if, you're, if you've got a sponge at home that you're using uh, or a, a system that you're soldering with. This is a standalone uh, a product. 
It's got a little silicone uh, edge to it. We see a lot of people when they're cleaning their soldering iron or whatever, they'll tap it on the end of the table. And that's not a good practice for anybody's soldering pencil because you can damage the here element in here and uh, uh, you know, uh, you know, basically uh, render your pencil useless for you. So we put a little silicone edge here so you can, it's a soft touch and you can knock your, uh, uh, you know, if you've got excess solder on there, you could knock it off and then clean the, clean the tip there uh, and then back in the holder. But as you can see, the holders these days have that integrated. But if you have an older system and you want to add one of these, you have that. Uh, with lead-free solder, again, it's eating the plating off the soldering tips at a faster rate. So Weller offers a tip recycling program. All we need is two pounds of soldering tips in here. So when your tip gets a hole in it and it's used up, put it into the box. When you get two pounds, you can, there's uh, mail-in information right here on the back of it. You mail it in with all of your contact information and Weller will uh, mail you a voucher for $75 off of your next purchase of soldering tips. So, you know, and we'll take any manufacturer's soldering tips with this program. All I need is two pounds in increments of two pounds. And lastly, uh, Weller is also going to be coming out with solder wire. Uh, this wire is, is designed to uh, help soldering tips last longer. It's a big problem in our industry with lead-free solder because, as I said before, the lead-free solder uh, eats that plating off at a faster rate. So the longer we can make that solder tip last uh, and transfer heat properly and reducing oxidation, the better your soldering process will be. So Weller will have wire out here very shortly that will help in that regard uh, with, with, with lead-free solder and longer tip life. So with all the things that we talked about here regarding soldering tip care and maintenance, uh, if you practice these things while you're soldering, it will make your soldering job much, much easier and more successful uh, and better quality solder joints, less contamination, and you'll be happier doing your job well because you have a maintained soldering tip that's doing what it's supposed to be doing. But if again, if it gets oxidized, turn your station off and then use these products to get that tip back in action and you'll be much, uh, uh, it'll be much better uh, soldering process for you as we move forward.